Frank Fazelli's father was 12 years old when he arrived all alone in the United States. He'd come from Sicily. That was 53 years ago. Frank is a successful dentist with a wife and family. They live in Lexington, Massachusetts. Fine, right, one bottle fills the whole decanter. There's no doubt in Frank's mind what freedom combined with opportunity meant to his father and then to him, or what his Italian grandparents would think if they could see how he lives now. They would not believe what they would see, that a person could immigrate from a small island and make such success out of their life, because to them they were mostly uh, related to the, uh, the fields working in the field as a peasant. My father came over, it was, he made something for himself and then he tried to build a family structure. Whatever he did was for his family. It was for a better life for his family. And I can always remember him telling me that, you know, number one thing in life is you should get an education to become a professional person. Johnny, please don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> The Vesali family, like all of us who live in the United States today, owe much to the climate of freedom we inherited from the founders of our country, a climate that gave full scope to the poor from other lands who came here and were able to make better lives for themselves and their children. You girls going to have this? Yeah. You, Chris? I know you don't want the whipped cream. But in the past 50 years, we've been squandering that inheritance by allowing government to control more and more of our lives instead of relying on ourselves. We need to rediscover the old truths that the immigrants knew in their bones, what economic freedom is, and the role it plays in preserving personal freedom. <laughs>